and welcome to my kitchen. And the sun is shining brightly through my kitchen window. But uh, we're going to make some raspberry coulis. Uh, that's just a fancy way of saying raspberry sauce. I thought it might be a really great accompaniment to that refrigerator icebox cake that we made earlier. And this is a really, really ho, 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 fancy schmancy kind of uh, sauce that you can make. But it's really, really easy. It just has a fancy name. And these are some frozen raspberries that I got off of the produce markdown wrap day before yesterday. Um, got about eight cartons of them. I would say five of them were good enough to keep. I didn't do anything to them except rinse them, stick them in a plastic bag, and put them in the freezer. Uh, I did not lay them nicely like I did the last time, and they stuck together, but it doesn't matter because we're just going to make a coulis or sauce out of them. What I'm going to add to this now is a cup of granulated sugar. And because these are frozen, they are going to produce quite a bit of their own liquid. So I'm going to add about a half a cup of water just to get the party started. And we're going to bring this over here, and I'm going to grab a wooden spoon. And we're just going to put these over medium heat, and we're going to let these come to a simmer. And I promise you that they are going to produce their own liquid, so don't worry about it. And when these have come to that simmer, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, we're simmering away. I told you that would, it would all make its own juice and everything good like that. Now it's time. You don't want it to boil for too long. Just a couple of minutes, okay? And then we're going to bring it over here and we're going to hit it with the immersion blender. And then we're going to strain it. So we're going to hit it with the immersion blender first. Because I have it on this, I have it on a pot holder, mm -hmm. so. And you can see that we're still um, very seedy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it over here and we're going to pour. And you're not going to be able to do it all at once because we have to push it through this sieve here. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't use that one anymore. Get a clean one. And then wipe up and the sticky mess you made on the floor. Preferably a shorter one. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. You just don't want any of those seeds in your sauce. You need a pressure strainer. A pressure strainer? Mm -hmm. Maybe you could invent that. That would be lovely. Mm. It will eventually all go down, I promise. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to strain it, and when we come back, we'll show you what happens next. Okay. Nice and bright red. It's beautiful, and it, it took a long time to strain through that sieve. <laughs> You kind of have to press it through, and your best bets are going to be a rubber spatula or just a plain old tablespoon, and it is going to take some time, so, but you know, it, it is amazing, and this is going to be an excellent accompaniment to our icebox cake. We're just going to put this in a little pool below the icebox cake, and we're going to serve the slices, so... That is how you make raspberry coulis or raspberry sauce. As this cools, it's going to thicken a bit, and you definitely want to get all those seeds out of there because nobody wants seeds in their, in their raspberry sauce. Mm -hmm. And there's a little seed right there. And we'll just get rid of that. What do you do? I actually um, strained this twice. So that is a personal preference on your part, but if you were um, in culinary school, you would fail if you even had one seed. So, <laughs> so 
That is how you make raspberry coulis. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. Until next time, I'll see ya.